Ooh, it's getting hot out there. Summer's almost, summer's almost here, and you know what that means. Hitting the beach more. I'd like to welcome Arden Moore to Primetime. She has tips and tricks to keeping your pet happy and healthy while at the beach. And you're a master uh, pet first aid instructor, right? You got that right. Yes, What's good. Up? So we've got... Oh, oh this is kitty kisses. Look. Oh my gosh. This is he Cleo. Is, Cleo is licking. What's the kitty's name? Her name is Ziki, and they're best buddies, oh my and that's gosh, one of her tricks. Cleo, give kitty kisses. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, kitty does it. Kitty's like, okay, enough. Okay, enough Jeez, enough. I got dog slobber all over my face now. Yeah. Okay, so what are you going to teach us today? You know, when we got to go to the beach or we want to do something fun this summer with our pets, indoors or out, we wanted to share a few tips. Cleo is one of the SoCal surf dogs. So she's so going to cool. be surfing, and there's a lot of great beaches you can go to. <laughs> but this dog likes cats, licks cats instead of eats them, and then you also surf? Yeah, so all dogs, whether they're swimming, surfing, or fetching the ball, they need to be in a life jacket. It keeps them buoyant. The other thing is and very... And you, I didn't even know they made doggy life jackets. Oh, yeah. Um, ready, Cleo? There you go, baby love. Come on, sit up. Let's do it. Oh yeah, she's ready. She's ready to hang 20. What kind of dog is Cleo? She's a mystery mutt. <laughs> that's a technical term. A mystery mutt. Oh. But, um, but this is very important. The other thing that's very important is our dogs, you ever notice, uh, yeah. Taylor, when they try to drink the water out of the ocean? Yeah. Not good because it has algae, parasites. Ugh. A lot of salt. Yeah, <laughs> and the salt. So here's the deal, folks. Go to the beach. Make sure you bring water for your dogs, bottled water. And the other thing is, they like this those. Is like, yeah, oh, pops this out. This is so cool. And it just goes going. I like um, that. And what I like about it is some of our dogs are really ball, ball, ball yeah. oriented. There's salt in the ball. It gets drenched. Make sure you rinse it out or get another ball mm -hmm. because the salt they ingest, and you touched upon it, too much salt in a dog's body can cause ugh, beach diarrhea. Can oh, we say yeah, that diarrhea all over your house, folks. Yeah, and the Want other that? thing. I don't is, think so. It also can damage their kidneys. Yeah, of course, yeah. So the other- We don't need too much sodi sodium, nor do our no. animals. And the other hazard at the beach, again, is the jellyfish. People think that they should put um, fresh water on a jellyfish mm -hmm. thing, wrong. They should actually use salt water, or they should use vinegar. And if you find a tentacle, oh, on your poor dog's face or on the body, don't touch it, because you can get stinged. Wear, bring rubber gloves to the beach, and use that credit card in a good way and scrape the tentacle off with your credit card or your driver's and license. And use vinegar or, or salt, salt water. Yeah, absolutely. Do they work the same to, yeah, is it because one, of their pH you got, level? Yeah, and you got the mm -hmm. salt water right there, right? Mm -hmm. And the other thing is you may need to put like a sand or mud pack on it. They may need antihistamines. If a dog gets stung by jellyfish, mm -hmm. please take them to the veterinarian. Yeah. So that's really uh, very, very uh, important. And for our kitties, people think, oh, like this is my You don't bring your cat to the beach, though. Ah, Zeke, want to go to the beach? She's thinking about it. <laughs> but this cat goes all over the country. She's the only feline in the Pet Tech Pet First Aid program. So she teaches people. We're going to check her pulse, which is right here. We wrap her in a towel. We do all these things. But guess what? Indoor cats can actually get sunburned. I didn't know that. Yeah, those sun worshippers on the windowsill. They love that. The sun comes in, especially light cats. Can they get skin cats. cancer like humans? Absolutely. Wow. So put the, the tinting on your windows. Use honeycomb or solar shades. Shades are better because tinting yeah. ruins your windows, by yeah, the way. Yeah. And it cancels out any guarantee you have on there them. There you go. There you go. Not only that, it attracts heat and it makes your house hotter. Did you know that? No, I learned that I the hard not. way. All right. So, so there's we use other it. alternatives. Yeah. So and make sure the solar shades or the um, the uh, the honeycomb shades, especially on the east and west, mm. because they face the sun in the morning and the evening. And the other thing to keep in mind is when we're walking with our pets. Ziki obviously is such a cool cat, she walks on a leash. But for little kitties and small dogs, make sure you use a harness mm -hmm. because it doesn't hurt their throat. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's a lot of cool things you can get. We got some uh, little Haida treats for the dogs and to protect their eyes. I thought those were yours. And they can wear their dog. You have it upside down. Oh, pardon me. You're, <laughs> you, the fashion police are coming at you, Cleo. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. And this gosh. is from uh, Doggers from Koopa. You seriously have yeah. your dog wear sunglasses to well, protect Well, think about eyes. it. To protect their eyes, right? You know, oh and gosh. there's a lot of things you can buy 
But I got to tell you, if you want to buy quality things without costing a lot, check out like Coupa or something like that. Wait a that. second. Are you the lady that puts the, the dog or cat in the stroller and walks her? Not at, no, not at all. Thank you. No. For, they go like your I'm sorry. animal needs um, some exercise. <laughs> four on the floor. I don't care if you have an itty bitty chihuahua. They need exercise. They do. It just drives me I'm crazy glad. when yeah. they treat them like babies and they don't let them walk. You know what I call it? I call it purse my ride. Right? Right. And like you know your, what? Look, your Cleo's animal a little dog. is not your hood ornament, no, right? No, no. Or Cleo, an do you want to do you want to go for a walk? Oh yeah. This oh, little girl loves to walk. Look at he Hello, oh, that is the cutest. Yeah. So there's just a lot of things you can get for the summer. Um, I really think you need to take a pet first aid class. Yeah. Be preventative. Know how to protect your pets when minutes count. Snake bites too. Oh, because my I gosh. take my German Shepherd up in the hills we What's go hiking. What's your dog's name? Gruft. What? Gruft. 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 He's That's from German. Germany. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So I let him off in the, the hill so he could just run be a dog, but I worry mm, about the snakes. I all would the be time. very careful because yep. um, it's very hard to get anti venom. It's a very, very expensive thing. Unless your dog has total recall, comes when you call him and doesn't want to go after a snake, he shouldn't be off leash unless it's an area without snakes. Be sure, careful. my dog's a highly trained dog, but you're, yeah. you're right about that, and that's a big problem here in San Diego. So yeah. maybe we could have you back another time to talk about those yeah. other ailments. And, and the safety part about taking your dogs to dog parks, yeah. because some dogs you want to take them, and some, maybe it's not such you a know, good scout idea. You know, scout the park out before you mm -hmm. go. Um, I really encourage people to take a pet first aid class, because then they can be their pet's best health ally. We, I teach it. There's others just go to pet do you, first aid do you for train you. dogs yeah. as well i do a little i'm a behavior so i do behavior i behave i train the people yeah more than the dogs because that's well usually the you know issue. what so folks if you have any questions for um arden send in your questions and we'll have arden back and we'll make sure we answer all of your questions who knows she might just solve your problems uh -huh. all right thank you yeah, so Taylor much and, and love uh, your Ziki pets and cleo thank you when they tell everybody <laughs> pause up and pause up <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so Thanks. much. We're going to be, uh, we're going to take a, a quick break, potty break, literally. We'll be right back.